So whenever you're triggered, you found some unconscious guilt. Therefore, he does not see that he made them and that they are not whole, for these figures have no witnesses being perceived in one separate mind only. That's why when people say to me, well, what do you think they're thinking? I have no idea. I have no clue what's in their mind. And if I think I do, I am making up a story based on my own unconscious guilt. I'm telling a story about a person who's actually me. So if I'm triggered by anybody, I'm telling a story about what I have not forgiven in myself. I still believe I'm an ego. I still believe that I could be separate from God. And because I, I believe it and I'm afraid of that thought, I need to get rid of that guilt. So I throw it onto somebody else. So we don't know what that person's about. Have you ever told stories about someone? Well, you know what they're about? Well, did you hear what they did? And you go on and on about a story. You are talking about yourself, right, Michael? <laughs> Remember, Michael, you always used to say that, talking about yourself, Cad. Cad. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. So then, oh, where is it here? Okay, it is through these strange and shadowy figures that the insane, so you are crazy. When you are making up a story about another human being, you're insane and you're relating to their insane world. That's all that's going on. For they see only those who remind them of these images. <laughs> you're seeing yourself projected and how you react to that person is how you see yourself. Hi, Kathy. You are reacting to your own self-condemnation and your own self-judgment. You are reacting to that person based on what you think about yourself. Meow. Yep. Yep, there it is. So you're only seeing people that remind you of your own unhealed mind. And it is to them that they relate. Thus do they communicate with those who are not there. So you're making up a story about a dream figure. Doesn't exist. And it is they who answer them. They are going to respond to you the way you sent out the message. If your teacher is the Holy Spirit, then you will relate to them from love. There's only two emotions. If your teacher is the ego, then you will think you're relating to them, but you're coming from fear, and so they have to respond with fear. And no one hears their answer save him who called upon them, and he alone believes they answered him. Projection makes perception. You know, I think that is such a powerful statement to remind ourselves over and over and over again, whenever you are triggered, to stop and say, projection makes perception, and you cannot see beyond it. Again and again, have you attacked your brother? Think of all the people that you've attacked so far today. Because you saw in him a shadow figure in your private world. So those are your shadows. That is your unhealed stuff. You have not forgiven the dream. And what is the dream? that you actually think you pulled off the impossible, which is, I've separated from God and I've made up my own world uh, where God is not. I don't need God in this world, I have a husband. I don't need God in my world, I have a wife. You've replaced God with stuff. You've replaced God with a partner. You've replaced God with a career. You've replaced God with money. Just think of all the things where you go, you know, my life is really good now. Like, I feel so awesome today. I don't need God. Like, whatever. You know, I'm good over here in my world. And then you do it till you hit the wall. And then it's like, God help me. Yeah, we all look up, don't we? 
<laughs> so we fall to our knees. Oh God, where are you? Right? This is, this is what we do because we're insane. But you know what? The darkness was necessary to know the light. There's the paradox. In order to know the light, you had to have contrast experience. So you lived in this dark place in your own world, the authority of your own life, with no God in it, until it got so painful that you said, oh, I can't do this anymore. I need help. I need help. I just can't do this. I'm insane. And the ego is a progressive disease. To be in the ego's world, identified as a body, is a progressive disease. And the end result is insanity or death. They say that in the 12-step program. If you don't get sober, you will eventually go to becoming insane, lock them up, or death. And that's the ego. So then Jesus says, well, it's because you attacked yourself first. You see a shadow figure in your private world? You attacked yourself first. Uh, for what you attack is not in others. So even though you're making fun of that person and you are condemning that person and you are judging that person, no, Jesus says right here, what you're doing is attacking yourself. It's not in others. That's a dream figure that you projected out. You are attacking yourself. You are not expanding your light. You are making yourself more afraid. Its only reality is in your own mind. And by attacking others, you are literally attacking what isn't there. It's like punching air. It's not even there. Jesus says the delusional can be very destructive. So when you're delusional, you're a hot mess. You're a train wreck. Delusional. For you don't recognize that you've condemned yourself. That's what you've done. And you, you're not even aware that you've condemned yourself. You don't really wish to die, but you'll not let condemnation go. It's like, I want to, yeah, okay, I want God, but I still want to have some of the made up self. I, I, I want this, but I, but I don't want to let go of this body identification and you can't have both because they are diametrically opposed to one another you can't hold love and fear in the mind you have to choose one 